Here comes opportunity knocking at the front door. Africa has a chance. Do they answer? Do they ignore it? Hell, let's talk about it. YouTube family, what's good, what's good? Let's rap for a bit. So I came across this video from the Louis Spot TV channel and it struck me as interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna tell you why. Burkina Faso citizens have staged a strong resistance against a coup d'etat on Captain Ibrahim Drory. Last night, September 26th, Burkina Faso youths took to the streets after rumors of an attempted coup against the transitional president. The people of Burkina Faso held night demonstrations and support rallies for Drory. Tensions within the army are causing concerns, and now the youths in Burkina Faso have formed a support committee and citizen vigil initiative in Ouagadougou, just like in Niger. Any suspicious activity or movement, be it from all military or elsewhere, everyone is immediately alerted and move out onto the streets to the meeting place called Grand Point de Nations Unis. The youth are clearly warning that any man who will make an attempt on the life of the young captain will not be able to sit on the presidential seat, not even for a day, and they will not spare his family either. Huh. The youth in Burkina Faso make up for 70% of the population. They are undefeated if they remain disunited. So anyone who does not support the future of the youth will not succeed. What do you think about the situation in Burkina Faso? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in the description box. And again, this is from the Louis Spot uh, YouTube channel. Shout out to Louis Spot. He always comes out with some really good material. Now, interesting, interesting. A couple of things that I gleaned from that. And first off, they're going and dealing with the coup, right? This isn't the only nation in Africa uh, that's dealing with the coups these days. So you have them, you have Mali, you have Niger, you have Gabon, right? And all within roughly the same west, uh, northwest region of, uh, of Africa, right? And this is important. And even though these are coups and coups can be a nightmare if you're if you are a part of it right with these coups happening now today and with our climate or rather our political climate right and a social climate right there are a couple of things that you need to take away from it yes it's a hard time yes there's going to be a lot of uh riffraff and there's going to a lot of there's going to be a lot of um uh, of unsavory characters that are going to be involved with these coups, with these, with these uh, changes of the hands, so to speak, with uh, the current governments that are there, right? It's going to be tough, but with the way Africa is built and the attitude of the people, I think, I find there to be more of an opportunity at their doorstep than there is a uh, uh, then there should be a feeling of oppression. Here's why. So, since 2020, I'm not going to get too deep in it, but Africa has recognized, or at least this is from what I've gleaned from it all, that Africa has recognized that there are issues with the West that Africa doesn't want to partake in, right? So, one of them being the uh, cocoa jab, that's one. Another, another one is being the the uh, <clears throat> the lifestyle that many of us here in the West, in the United States, right, and in Europe and stuff, like to partake in. That Africa, they they're not particularly uh, they're not jiggy with it. I guess you could say, right? That's not their cup of tea, and it is what it is, right? They have their way of life, we have ours. We shouldn't have to be trying to push our agendas and how we like to live, even though many of us don't like to live like that. 
how we live onto a people that that seems foreign to them. All right, I'm not here to talk about all that. What I'm talking about is the opportunity. One of the things that they mentioned in the video was the youth, the youth sniffing out an issue and then handling it. That's one thing, but the youth, the youth being a very integral part of the building and the growth of Burkina Faso. But you have to remember, or if you don't know, I'm gonna learn you a little bit. So Africa is a growing population. It is a growing continent. Now you have the biggest continent in the world is in Africa. And the, the most youthful continent in the world is Africa, right? And it's made up of 54 nation states from, from Algeria to Zimbabwe, A to Z. These guys have such an opportunity in using in using what they know, in using their youth, in exposing the truth. The truth. You have a golden opportunity now to show the youth where it is you live. When you can show your youth that many people, that big a continent, where we live, you can be that beacon of truth for the rest of the world and not have to bat an eyelash. There's a saying, or rather, there's a song that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also put in the description box, right? By Denise Williams. This awesome 80s song, and I mentioned it to, to the uh, Ghost of Judah tribe last week, and it's called Black Butterfly. There's a line in that song that says, a dream conceived in truth shall never die, right? And I love that song. I love that song, Black Butterfly. I grew up with it and everything. It's an awesome song. But she's right. A dream with the foundation of truth doesn't die. It doesn't go anywhere. It may be hidden. It may be concealed. But it's always going to be the truth. It's always going to remain relevant, right? And so Africa, it's a golden opportunity for you to explain to your youth and for your youth to project to the rest of this world where it is we live. Because, I mean, I'm not gonna say there's no hope for us here in the United States or there's no hope for us out here in the West, but, I mean, being down in the pits, there's no place to go but up. And now, since, you're, since you guys are starting to do your spring cleaning within the continent, right, it's starting with Bur Burkina Faso. Uh, Ibrahim Traore, the, the military coup leader, he's young. He is an embodiment of that youth of Africa. He, he can also be the embodiment and the, the representation of truth in Africa and for the rest of the world. Now, you're going to get a lot of backlash. And I pray for this man that he doesn't get an attempt put on his life, even though I'm sure it, it will happen. It will happen. We know how this world could be funky. But once you get it started, it won't be able to stop. You won't be able to stop it. Once you get it started, the rest of the world is going to listen. They're going to pay special attention to what it is you say. Somebody's going to pick up that torch and they're going to carry on. So I highly recommend people of Africa, you do your due diligence and you get that truth out there. You start explaining to the rest of this world what this world really is. Flat, level, and true. Flat, level, and true. It is flat, it is level, it is true. Get away from the globe nonsense. Everybody is sick and tired of being lied to. Everybody is sick and tired of living within the soup of the fundamental lie. Take this opportunity, Africa, and be better than everybody else. Take this opportunity and live on a foundation of truth. Anyway, YouTube family, that's all I got. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Obviously, health, wealth, love, joy, prosperity. Let's push for these guys to do the right thing. Let's push for these guys to go out and push this true agenda. Love y'all. I'm out. Peace.